hello so for today's video we're going to be putting to the test some new hourglass products so here i have the hourglass val retouching fluid and then i have the hourglass val translucent setting powder so what i'm going to do is quickly before i apply this all to my face i just want to give a quick description of the products so this retails for 25 pound and this can be bought on space nk you can buy um hourglass from cold beauty and feel unique but they don't have these products yet and i don't know if they're gonna get them or not so you have six shades and in the picture they look like they go sort of light and then dark so not bad but you know you could probably do better with some more so this is going to refresh any part of the face with a touch of hydration and soft <laughs> luminosity. Revi revive the under eye without caking or creasing. Retouch with sheer coverage for no makeup days. Weightless formula contains skin nourishing ingredients, hyaluronic acid, plant water extract and grapefruit extract. So already this already has two reviews and both of them have given it five star. So that's promising. And then we have the powder this is what i'm most excited about so this retails for 36 pounds and this is like the benefit so it blurs the appearance of pores fine lines and wrinkles for an airbrush finish oh it's got a gold sift gold sifter and custom cup allow for perfect amount of product to be dispensed influenced with diamond powder for the most refined light reflection without any flashback that sounds really amazing. Sets makeup for longer wear. Formulated without talc. Translucent formula leaves an invisible finish perfect for all skin tones. So, yeah, again, two, um, two reviews and they've given it five star. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly apply a primer. So, I'm actually going to use the little hourglass, um, what was it, mineral primer. The va Why can't I say this word? veil veil primer um i'm not quite sure how i feel about this i feel like my ordinary one is like the same like texture so i don't know if i'll be purchasing again so i'm just gonna rub that into your skin quickly i didn't even purchase it in the first place i mean well, i got it as a tester but i don't know if i'd like go out and buy the full size sample it's like a silicone -y feeling primer so I'm going to take the e.l.f. Flawless Foundation in Porcelain. I'm actually going to mix a bit of the Maybelline Fit Me 100. I was going to take the Hourglass Foundation, but like I know that looks flawless on my skin already without the powder. So I don't really want to use it and be like, oh yeah, it's done, it's done a good job when it's the foundation that's doing the good job. Does that make sense? So I'd rather, like I know this makes me look good, but nothing compared to the hourglass one. So this is why I'm going to mix these together today. So we're going to go into the retouching fluid now. Um, I tried to look up my shade, like I picked up vanilla, because I picked up shell in a foundation, so I knew it was light with mixture of the undertones. So I wanted to get something a bit lighter and maybe a bit more yellow because sometimes my foundation can be too pink so i picked up the shade vanilla but i can't get onto the hourglass website my phone just won't allow me to go onto it to see what the shade like mixed with but i know obviously it's light so it says directions apply anywhere on the face for instant luminosity and sheer coverage to put to perfect and refresh the complexion for best results gently pat onto the skin with fingers so i'm just going to take a little bit of this so you do get a small applicator and you do get dot 10 fluid ounces which doesn't sound like a lot does it so i'm just gonna it smells kind of nice I don't know what the scent is, but so this definitely looks like something with a yellow undertone in it. So I'm just going to pat that in with my fingers on the under eye. I will go in and add some around the face and stuff. I 
feel like with concealer like it does crease on me pretty badly so if this like doesn't crease and gives me a good enough coverage like this is going to be perfect because i feel like i can wear like concealer like i can get away with it and it'll look fine but it's still not the best looking under there I feel like my under eyes do look like kind of dewy under there as well like it's giving a nice little glow to it and it's definitely highlighting um it's a little bit of coverage which I like I'm not even if I wear a full coverage foundation like I don't know what it is like I can't go full coverage under the eyes I mean, I will if I've got it because I'm a full coverage bitch, but I prefer something that might be a bit lighter. Really, really pretty. So I'm just going to add like a little bit down the nose, the forehead. I really don't know what that scent is. It's, it's not heavily fragranced, but it's definitely got fragrance. So if you do not like strong fragrances then I don't think you'd like the scent of this still feel like it looks cakey on the under eyes I don't know if it's just my under eyes like everything just looks really dry under there um I will get a close up so you can see it before I sort of set it but I mean it looks really pretty on the skin like it's just sort of highlighted a little bit so nothing too much like it did save so like if you're not wearing no makeup kind of look i'm just gonna see if like i can add any more on to give a little bit more coverage i don't know how i feel just yet about that but we're gonna set the face with the powder so you open it up This is what the product looks like. So you do get quite a bit less than the Laura Mercier powder. So you get in here one fluid ounce. And in this, you get 0.36 ounces. So yeah, quite a bit smaller. Um, when you open it up, I love hourglass packaging. It's so beautiful. Comes in this nice like H for hourglass so, so you just peel that sticker off so I'm just going to take the crown brush C530 to um, put on the under eyes okay that looks really nice on the under eyes with that concealer thing doesn't look cakey at all and it kind of looks like it gave me like a little bit extra coverage I'm just going to set the rest of the concealer with it and then I will go on to set in the face so what I do when I set the entire face I usually use a stippling brush and I'll dip it in and I will buff around but obviously some people like to have like one of these brushes and sort of like pounce it into the skin so I'm going to do half the face the way I do it and then half the face how you'd classically do it. So I'm just going to take the e.l.f. stippling brush. I feel like, look, if you literally just dip your brush in, the powder comes out. Like, how? Like, how is that doing that? Fantastic. So on this side of the face, we're using the Spectrum AO1. So I definitely prefer with this stippling brush how I've done it rather than the big powder brush. Um, I don't know, like I just feel like I'm still getting a bit of a dew coming through on this side, whereas this side's like completely matte. So maybe if you like a very matte look, then you prefer the brush. But um, I love how my under eyes look and like my concealer where that powder went on top. It looks beautiful. It doesn't look cakey at all. On the face, I feel like I've definitely done something. Like I feel a bit more airbrushed. But I wouldn't say 
it absolutely changed my life. Maybe with a different foundation, I might like the combination better. But the foundation does look really, really nice. Not the foundation, sorry, the powder. I'm really I'm impressed with how that looks so far. So I'm just going to put on the rest of my face and then we'll be back. Okay, so the rest of my makeup is on. And I love this freaking highlighter. This is from Hourglass as well. Everything that I'm wearing will be in the bottom bar. Um, like, I'm on the fence. I'm like looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, it does look really nice. Like I can only imagine how the Vanish Foundation Stick that and the concealer would look all together. Like I feel like it would look 10 times amazing. Um, I feel like my skin does look actually a little bit more flawless. And the uh, Elf Porcelain, Elf Porcelain? No, that's the shade. The Elf Flawless Foundation does like a really good job. But I feel like this has just made it like extra nice for some reason. And I know it's not a concealer, I keep calling it concealer, but the fluid thing. I feel like it's just highlighting my face in the right points. I would like a bit more coverage under my eyes just to cover up the dark circles a little bit more. But if you're like a natural lover, like a natural makeup lover, I feel like this would be really, really good. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do check-ins later. So the check-in time is half past two. And we will see how everything wears. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hello, so the check-in time is 10 to 11. Um... I just love how the band, not foundation, sorry, the powder looks like just looks so airbrushed and gorgeous. And I feel like with hourglass products, like a lot of the time, you put it on and you're like, oh, it looks okay. But then as your skin warms to it more, like it looks a hundred times better. And that's what I feel like with the powder and even the under eye fluid thing. I don't know what it is, but I just, oh. Hourglass is such an expensive brand, but they're like they're just so good with their products. So these products definitely get a big thumbs up from me. Obviously, if you like a little bit more coverage, then you're not gonna like the fluid concealer. It's not really a concealer, but you're not gonna like it. But if you're a natural makeup esquera, big thumbs up. It's absolutely stunning. But yeah, this is what. My face looks like after all the wear and tear. And yeah, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Hello, so for today's video, I'm going to put it. <laughs> I can never say that word, Val, because I think of my accent, Val, 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 love, Val. 